Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 with reference to the high seas, consider the following statements about. 1. Parts of the sea that are not included in the territorial waters or the internal waters of a country are known as the high seas according to the 1958 Geneva Convention on the High Seas. 2. It is the area beyond a country's exclusive economic zone which extends up to 100 nautical miles 185 kilometers, from the coastline and till where a nation has jurisdiction over living and non-living resources. 3. The high seas account for more than 60% of the world's ocean area and cover about half of the Earth's surface. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only Answer is B. It is the area beyond a country's exclusive economic zone which extends up to 200 nautical miles 370 kilometers, from the coastline and till where a nation has jurisdiction over living and non-living resources. Question to as per a recent study, scientists found that the glacier retreat rate is controlled by 1. Climate change to the topographic setting 3. Morphology of the glacier Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is C. Question 3. The Union Government had recently formally outlined the Digital India Act of 2023 which is a broad overhaul of the decades-old Information Technology Act of 2000. The challenges that old laws have not been able to address in a massively evolved digital world include 1. Online criminalities 2. Cyber security 3. Fake news Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is C. The challenges that old laws have not been able to address in a massively evolved digital world include online criminalities, cyber security, hate speech, disinformation and fake news. Question 4 with reference to the Interstate Migrant Workmen Act of 1979, consider the following statements. 1. The Act mandates that the establishment which proposes to employ migrant workers be required to be registered with destination states. 2. Contractors will have to obtain a license from the concerned authority of the home states only. 3. This Act has been subsumed into the four broad labor codes notified by the Center. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 only The answer is B. Contractors will have to obtain a license from the concerned authority of the home states as well as the host states. This act has been subsumed into the four broad labor codes notified by the Center. The Code on Wages, 2019 The Industrial Relations Code, 2020 The Code on Social Security, 2020 and The Occupational Safety, Health and Working Conditions Code, 2020 These have not been implemented yet. The Occupational Safety, Health and Working Conditions Code, 2020. These have not been implemented yet. Question 5 with reference to the Moon Time Zone, consider the following statements. 1. The main objective behind a need for a time zone for the Moon is to streamline contact among the various countries and entities, public and private, that are coordinating trips to and around the Moon. Two time on Earth is precisely tracked by atomic clocks, 
but synchronizing time on the moon is tricky because clocks run slower there, lagging around 56 microseconds or millions of a second per day. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. The answer is A. Time on Earth is precisely tracked by atomic clocks, but synchronizing time on the Moon is tricky because clocks run faster there, gaining around 56 microseconds or millions of a second per day. Question 6 Consider the following statements about scrub typhus or bush typhus. 1. It is a disease caused by a bacteria called Orientia tsutsubmushi. 2. Scrub typhus is spread to people through bites of infected flies. 3. Most cases of scrub typhus occur in rural areas of Southeast Asia, Indonesia, China, Japan, India, and Northern Australia. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is B. Scrub typhus is spread to people through bites of infected chiggers, larval mites. Although the disease is similar in presentation to other forms of typhus, its pathogen is no longer included in genus Rickettsia with the typhus bacteria proper, but in Orientia. The disease is thus frequently classified separately from the other typhi. Question 7 with reference to gene editing in embryo, consider the following statements about 1. Clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats, CRISPR, a gene editing technology, can target and edit DNA at precise locations. 2. One class of gene editing involves changing genes in human cells. 3. CRISPR could lead to extensive gene copying from one parent to the other. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 3 only. Answer is C. Gene editing can be divided into two classes. One involves changing genes in human cells. This method does not alter reproductive cells, such as sperm or eggs. It can be used to treat diseases caused by mutations. The second method alters the genome of human embryos. These altered genes can be passed on to future descendants, raising ethical concerns. The Chinese scientist used the latter in his experiment on twins. Question 8. Why do scientists call for the legally binding treaty to protect Earth's orbit? 1. The treaty should ensure that producers and users take responsibility for satellites and debris. 2. It should also enforce collective international legislation, including fines and other incentives to make countries and companies accountable for their actions. 3. The treaty should ensure that countries using the Earth's orbit should commit to global cooperation. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is C. Currently, companies are not incentivized to clean up orbits or to include deorbiting functions in satellites, the letter stated. Deorbiting means bringing dead satellites back to Earth. There is no international treaty that seeks to minimize orbital debris. But the United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space has laid out guidelines to mitigate space debris. These guidelines include minimizing the potential for breakups during a satellite's operational phases and limiting the probability of accidental collision in orbit, among others. The current Outer Space Treaty is hindered by ever-changing geopolitics, technology, and commercial gain. Thank you, everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.